Hello, citizens of the planet. Welcome back to Monday Musings with Larry Lelly. And this week's musing is about a gig I played this past week with my good friend and wonderful Broadway actor, singer, dancer, Robert Crichton. And uh, he's just an all-around fabulous guy, multi-talented. He does it all. He sings and he dances and he acts. And he's funny. He's a funny dude. Um, but anyway, we played at uh, my favorite club here to play in New York City, which is called 54 Below, which if I haven't mentioned it before, or you don't know about it, it's a, uh, a throwback to a kind of an old speakeasy type place where people would go and have a fancy cocktail and some really good food and listen to some great music, you know, some great singers and have see a little stage show. Um, and the club is just beautiful. It's, it's very classy and um, it sounds great and it looks great. They just did it perfectly. So it's one of my favorite places to play. And there are wonderful people there who run the place. So um, the interesting thing about this gig was that Robert decided to, to focus on music all from the early part of the 1900s, maybe up to the middle of that century. So um, we did a lot of music that were some of the very first styles of music that I learned how to play when I first started playing drums in the concert band at school. Uh, which were like marches. We did some marches. You know, we did some George M. Cohan, which is very much march, kind of American march music, and um, some Dixieland-flavored stuff, a lot of Dixieland-flavored things, and, you know, two-beat music, which um, was very typical of that era. And it was just fascinating for me to play a whole concert of that, those styles of music which were some of the first styles of music that I learned how to play. And so it's, it just stressed to me how important it is what I try to pass on to everybody that I talk to, because I'm a loud mouth and got a lot of opinions, <laughs> um, is it's important to know every style of music there is. Know a little bit about every style. Know how to authentically recreate it to the best of your ability. You know, you might not be able to be a, a genius at every single style. Like if I had to go and play math metal or whatever it's called, I don't even know what it's called. I wouldn't probably do too well doing that, but I don't get called for those kind of gigs. Um, I get called for everything else because I know all the other stuff. That's probably a ridiculous example to use, but um, I'm just saying the more you know, the more to, more styles of music you know, the more you're going to play, the more you're going to work, and the more valuable you're going to be to that many more different musical groups or singers or artists or whatever. So that's my musing. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.